Hey everyone, Josh is down here with a quick video. Now if you're like me and you upgraded to Windows 10, they've updated some programs and things are going to be different. That's something you just have to get used to. One thing that they changed is the default photo viewer. So it normally opens your pictures as a photos application. And you can also open it with Paint 3D or Paint. But if you don't like any of those and you like the old Windows 7 version, the photo viewer, which was a very simplistic default photo viewer, it's actually still inside the operating system. The only thing is you gotta enable it through the registry. So I'm gonna show you the code you gotta copy and paste and create into a reg file. And once you do that, if you double click it, it'll enable it. So we start. I'm gonna be providing the code in the description of this video so you don't have to, you know, try to type it on the screen. This is pretty much what you gotta put down. And once you save this, let's say save as, Photo viewer dot reg. How about that? You have to put the you have to change this to all files and then make sure this has dot reg at the end of it. And once you save it, I already have one down there, so it replaced it. But it'll look like this. And once you have done that, you can also verify this works by opening your default settings and photo viewer. You have photos, the Windows 10 photos, Paint, Paint 3D, and then you can look for stuff in the App Store, so it's not there. But once you double click this, let's merge it. Say yes. Information says, are you sure? Registry editing can be bad. Say yes. And then you're good. You can close everything and then go to the picture you want to open. Right click, open with, choose another app. And then you're going to see all these apps here. Hit more apps, scroll down, and then you have the old Windows Photo Viewer. And there you go. Now Windows Photo Viewer may already be enabled on your computer, and this video would be useless to you, but for those who are like me and didn't want to use any of the new stuff and wanted to stick back with the old things, then this is a really great application to re-enable, especially since Windows 10 already has it. So if that helped you out, give this video a thumbs up, it really helps out. Thanks for watching.